Hey there, friends. Have you guys seen the explosion of the house in Arlington, Virginia that took place last night? Check this video out. Police were already at the scene moments before the blast. Officers were trying to access the property and execute a search warrant. A SWAT team had responded to the home hours earlier after receiving reports of shots fired. Officers determined that someone inside had actually discharged a flare gun 30 to 40 times. As officers attempted to execute that search warrant this evening, the suspect inside the residence uh, discharged several rounds. The house subsequently exploded. The explosion rocked the entire surrounding area. Virginia State House Delegate Patrick Hope writing, My family and I are fine, but our house shook and we could see the flames from our front yard. Police believe the suspect was alone inside the home when the blast occurred. They have not been able to determine if the home was blown up on purpose. Authorities also indicate they did not have immediate information about any prior incidents at the house. But neighbors described the man living there as a character who covered his windows with tin foil. This morning, residents nearby are grateful to be safe after a terrifying night. It's just scary to think that this is happening around us and it could happen in what I thought was like a safe community. Now, the town of Arlington, Virginia, just put out this statement about maybe an hour or so ago, stating at approximately 4.45 p.m. on December 4th, the Arlington County Police Department was dispatched to the 800 block of North Burlington Street for the report of possible shots heard. Preliminary investigation indicated a suspect discharged a flare gun, as the news report just showed, approximately 30 to 40 times from inside his residence into the surrounding neighborhood. No property damage or injuries were reported related to the discharge of the flare gun. During the course of the investigation, officers obtained a search warrant for the suspect's residence, attempted to make contact with the suspect and the telephone uh, excuse me, over telephone and through loudspeakers. The suspect did not respond and remained barricaded inside the residence. As officers were attempting to execute the search warrant, the suspect discharged several rounds from what is believed to be a firearm inside the home. Subsequently, at approximately 825, an explosion occurred at the residence. The investigation into the circumstances of the explosion are ongoing. Now, it doesn't state what time the um, search warrant was supposed to be executed. It says they were dispatched at 445 and that at 825 is when the explosion took place. So, you know, let's just call it three and a half hours later. And the reason why I bring that up is I've looked at several different videos of this explosion. And of course, I'm just as curious as to what happened as everybody else and what caused, what ignited, what the explosive material was. And uh, interestingly, a lot of people have pointed out that because of so much flame, now this is not for me because I'm not a, a, a explosives expert, but some people have stated that because of so much fire that it appears to be a gas-related explosion, which you usually see houses get leveled whenever gas is involved. So I bring up that point of three and a half hours because if this guy was shooting a flare gun out of his home, uh, upwards until 4.45 p.m., 30 to 40 times, obviously there was not a gas leak in the home. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, unless all of a sudden it just happened. So it looks like if this was a gas leak, that it could have been on purpose, that the guy, again, I'm simply speculating here, I'm piecing everything together here, but if the flare gun 30 or 40 times did not ignite a gas leak prior to that, it looks like maybe the gas was turned on after 4.45 and roughly in that 8.25 p.m. time frame, if a shot was fired, that may have been what ignited it. Now, they have not found the guy inside the house yet. There's only two things that happened to him. <laughs> Either he left on his own and snuck out or he left as a result of the explosion and they just haven't found anything yet. That's more than likely what took place the guy is probably in multiple locations at this time, if you know what I mean. Now, they say that they got these guys, the law enforcement, were uh, in the process of executing a search warrant. Clearly, they weren't. Clearly, they were not. We see the explosion with our own eyes. When they say in the process of executing the search warrant, it may be that they were out in the street talking on a bullhorn or something like that, but they were not executing the search warrant the way we think of it. In other words, their lives were clearly not in danger because they wouldn't be here right now either looking at this explosion. 
Very odd turn of events. There's not a lot of information right now on the guy that was in the house that shot off the flare gun. 30 to 40 times shooting it from his home. That's odd enough as it is, and you see the video of it. That's strange. There's, there's so many so many question marks regarding this. I'm curious what your thoughts thoughts are on this. This is this is a very strange situation. You know, if the house had just exploded, you would think, eh, you know, gas leak, guy trying to light a heater or something, maybe an old person left gas on, thought it was lit, whatever. It happens. I mean, it really does. I mean, houses get leveled more times than what we'd like to think from gas leaks and explosives in the homes. This has a lot of weird stuff tied to it. Again, SWAT team being dispatched, guys shooting flare guns. They claim shots fired from inside the house, what they think was from a firearm, not a flare gun, they, they're saying. So very strange, odd turn of events. Again, I would love to know what your opinions are. Have you heard anything else? Anybody in the Virginia area, what have you heard? I would also like to point this out. While I was working on this video, I got a notification that obviously uh, Christopher Ray is being spoken to, let's just say that, in Congress right now. He had a discussion with Lindsey Graham where Graham asked Ray to describe the current, quote, threat matrix facing the United States at a Senate Judiciary Committee hearing this morning. This is still ongoing, by the way. Ray responded, what I would say that is unique about the environment that we're in right now in my career is that while there may have been times over the years where individual threats could have been higher here or there than where they might be right now, I've never seen a time where all the threats or so many of the threats are all elevated, all at exactly the same time. Graham responded by saying, so blinking red lights analogy about 9-11, all the lights were blinking red before 9-11, apparently. Obviously, all of us missed it. Would you say there's multiple blinking red lights out there? Ray responded, I see blinking red lights everywhere. Head on a swivel, friends. There's some really uncharted territory that we are finding ourselves in right now. And I think that we haven't had a threat level this high, obviously, according to the FBI director, in quite some time. And it looks like it is so widespread that even this guy is flabbergasted as a result of it. Watch out for your brothers and sisters out there. Watch out for your neighbors out there. Regardless of whether or not they're watching out for you, let's watch out for our, uh, you know, friends, neighbors, family members going into this holiday season. This is a time of year where we are super distracted. And let's remember that the other people that would like to see us hurt and would like to do us harm don't celebrate the same holidays we do. So they're not distracted right now. They're very much focused on what their goal is. And we're the ones who are distracted. Keep your eyes open, folks. God save the queen, man. I'm sorry, I thought this was America.